Okay, this video is about fixing a damaged ukulele that somebody sat on. I bought this ukulele, say Kala. It's a Curly Mango Soprano. And back when I bought it, this is a bunch of years ago already, it's about five years old. It was sold as a solid mango ukulele. I'm not sure if it's just the top that's solid and back and sides are laminated or if the whole thing is solid. I do know that when this arrived, it was severely damaged. Somebody had sat on it and the whole top was crushed in looking like somebody had sat on it. It was completely crushed. You wouldn't recognize it from this instrument here in front of you. If you look closely, you might be able to see some of the old crack lines. Can you see them? Well, you can kind of see something starting here and running down here. I can feel it with my finger and going around around the bridge. It even goes all the way around and came up here and it's kind of stopped here. And this whole side here, everything, was all crushed in, down in, about a third of the way crushed of the depth of the ukulele completely crushed. Now what do you do with something like that? How did I rescue this? And I'm not a luthier. Well, I work with wood sometimes and I thought, well, I have glue and I'm going to save this thing. So if you look inside, you can see the last, let's see, I think I have this set up so you can see it. You can see a wooden stick inside. stick. There it. Maybe there it is. There it is. You can see a stick there. Trying to get closer and focus in. There it is. That stick there that you see inside, that's the last wooden matchstick. I used simple wooden matchsticks that you could buy at any grocery store and a pair of scissors. I took the strings off, of course, and I reached inside and I wedged wooden matchsticks cut to length with the scissors. Standard size was just a little bit long for the inside, and I wedged them all inside. One, two, three, until I had seven or eight, and I reached in as far as I could using a needle nose pliers, reaching and then turning the needle nose pliers reach in, turn to hold the matchstick up and down, and wedged it in. Little by little, the top came up under the pressure of match after match being put in there. And then when I had it up higher, then I replaced other matches that were now too short. And then I reached in with my finger, and I rubbed good tight bond wood glue inside here all around where I felt a crack. I rubbed that type on wood glue into all the cracks and I reached in with a needle nose pliers and anything I could find with wood glue on the bottom of a paper towel. And then after a few minutes I took a damp paper towel and rubbed it around to wipe off any excess glue, just a little water, just like you'd do if you were gluing anything. And you're kind of blind, but it works. And I used those matchsticks, wedging it up until it was flat. And now it's flat. And when that was done, I left those matchsticks in there. And then I refinished the top with plain old epoxy, um, you know, polyurethane. And I polished it with very, very fine polishing cloth. And okay, it's not factory gloss or anything like that, but most people can't even see that it's been repaired. And you know what? I saved this little soprano ukulele, and I can still play Moon Glow on it.
Unfortunately, I'm not a very good ukulele player, but I can fix it. And now we have a successful repair. So you can do that too. I think 